What data analytics certificate should you pick? There are so many new options and people are really confused. There's just not enough time to take them all. So when you pick a data analytics certificate, you're actually taking a huge risk because without proper research about all the new options, you'll likely make the wrong choice and that can cost you months without seeing any progress. So which one should you take if you want to get a job as fast as possible in data analytics starting from zero? In this video, we'll review all of the data analytics certificates to determine which one is the best. The answer depends on many factors, so don't just look at this list, that's not going to be helpful at all. You need to understand why and see the big picture. And this 5 minute video could save you months and help you get a job way faster. Because if you learn the right skills that employers are looking for and you take the best courses to do so, you'll be more employable. But I promise I'll be as quick as possible. So let's begin. The first one on the list is the new Mera Data Analyst Certificate. It is for complete beginners, 5 months at 10 hours a week. And as I'm recording this, the final course is not even available, but when you're watching this, it's probably not going to be a problem. There are five different courses, and the first one is an introduction to data analytics, and then it moves over to spreadsheets and SQL, and then a little bit about Python, and course four is about statistics, and finally, course five is about data management. This one is supposed to be Meta's equivalent to the IBM and Google data analytics certificates, but we still have a lot to cover, so we'll, so we'll compare them more later. Next up, we have the Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst Professional Certificate. This is a very interesting one, and it's a great option, but not for everybody. Now, it's a beginner level cert, five months at 10 hours a week, so it's just as long as the previous one. It is also pretty new, but has an insane amount of enrollments for being so new, and it's really popular and there are fantastic reviews, which is not surprising considering how it's from Microsoft. There are eight different courses in this certificate, and the first one covers data preparation using Excel, and then harnessing the power of data with Power BI, so basic data analytics with Power BI, and then we have ETL with Power BI, there's also data modeling, data analysis and visualization, and creative designing in Power BI. And this basically means creating reports, dashboards, and different visualizations. And finally, we have deploy and maintain assets, as well as a capstone project. For those wondering, a capstone project is basically a final project that you do under their guidance, and it's a very good way to start building your portfolio with some projects. In this certificate, there's also a final course, which focuses entirely on exam preparation and practice. It is supposed to help you prepare for the PL300 exam, which is Microsoft's own data analyst in Power BI certification. I know that it can get messy with certificates and certificates, Notifications, but PL300 is basically a formal exam that you take either online or at home and once you pass you're officially a Microsoft certified data analyst. This is one of the main benefits of this professional certificate and it's a normal course but it will also help you prepare for one of Microsoft's certifications. PL300 is industry recognized and will look very good on your resume and as a bonus you actually get 50% off the PL300 exam fee once you complete this certificate on Coursera. I still wanna mention the downsides to this course because I think it's important to consider all of the sides. And here, the only bad thing is that it only focuses on Power BI. So if you're looking to learn things like SQL and Python, which you should, then you're going to have to learn them on the side or using one of the other courses that will cover up next. Number three is a perfect course for those looking to focus more on Python. It is the Google Advanced Data Analytics Certificate. It is six months at 10 hours a week, and they claim that it's advanced level, but if we actually look at the details, it does require prior knowledge of foundational analytical principles and tools. So it's definitely not advanced level, but I think you could take this one starting from zero if you want to, but ideally you would have some experience, and it's probably a better idea to take one of the other courses first to give you that foundational knowledge to make the most out of this course. It focuses on teaching you skills like statistical analysis, Python, regression models, and machine learning in less than six months, although most people complete it way faster. Looking at the curriculum, you will see seven different courses. The first one is kind of an introduction to data science and then an introduction to Python. And then of course about data analytics and translating data into insights, which is what they're actually claiming the course is about. But as you can tell, it's a lot of machine learning and data science things as well. The next course is about statistics, which is very interesting. Many courses will skip statistics, but they actually give you this foundational knowledge and I think it's going to be very helpful and make you stand out. There is also a long course on regression analysis and of course machine learning as well and then they finish off with a capstone project. 
So how can this course help you and who is it really for? I wouldn't say that it's really a data analytics certificate. And I mean, sure, many things are going to be useful and many things are related. But when it comes to the machine learning course, for example, it's not relevant for entry level data analysts at all. So if you're limited on time, then you don't want to take all of these courses. But if you're looking to move more towards data science later, this could be a really good way to become a more technical data analyst and explore those areas as well, while learning data analytics in the first place. So you can also see if this is something for you. I also want to give a big shout out that they do teach Python in many of the courses, which is very, very good, but unfortunately not SQL. So make sure that you learn SQL on the side as well. Number four on the list is also very exciting, and it is the IBM Data Analyst Certificate. It's very popular, but is it still worth it? Now, it's for complete beginners, and you'll have to spend four months working 10 hours a week, and it also has a 4.7 rating out of five from nearly 20,000 reviews, which is absolutely amazing. There are nine courses in the certificate, and the goal is to help you begin your career as a data analyst. So in the first course, it's basically just an introduction to the field, and then you move into Excel in the second course, and then start working with data visualizations and creating dashboards, and both using Excel and Cognos. And if you don't know what Cognos is, it's basically IBM's version of Power BI or Tableau, you could say. There's also a Python course as well as a Python project. And then you'll have to learn a little bit on databases and SQL and combine that with Python as well. And as you might have noticed, there's also a lot of Python in this course, which I think is a plus, especially because it's so useful and many employers are looking for Python skills. The next course is data analysis and then data visualization and then finish up with a capstone project and all of this with Python as well. And then you're done. So how can this one help you? Well, I would say that it's a great one if you're looking to learn the basics and focus on Python. It's known to be more hands-on and more practical than Google's version, at least referring to the original certificate, maybe not the advanced certificate. But I would also say that it's slightly less polished than the Google version. The videos are not as nice, but they're focusing more on the concepts. They're basically just slide presentations and very basic. But in my opinion, it really gets the job done. And IBM's course has really good reviews and it's been around a long time, even before Google. So there's definitely a lot of good things to learn from this one. Number five is the Data Camp Data Analyst Certification. Now, Data Camp is a platform offering trainings and courses for data science. And this one is different and it's not on Coursera, but I wanted to include it as a bonus because it's very popular for good reason. Instead of taking a course, you can take their exam whenever you're ready. And you basically just join Data Camp and you get access to all of their courses and all of their resources all at once. When you're ready to sign up for the examination, it's actually two tests. One is time-based and you'll have to answer questions that test your knowledge with a time limit. And the second part is a practical test where you'll be tested on your ability to implement a working solution for a data problem. You're basically doing some common data analyst tasks and then you'll be tested on your ability to do so. And for this one, you can always choose if you want to focus on Python or R and take the test using one of these languages. You don't have to take it in both, but SQL is always going to be included. Now, the main advantage of Data Camp is that it's actually very affordable and a quick way to boost your resume, especially if you've taken courses in the past. You can literally just sign up, take the test and be done or use the resources to study if you need to. But now let's move on to the final certificate and I'm going to compare this one to the other options as well and I'm of course talking about the Google data analytics certificate. This is the classic one that everyone's heard of and it's brought so many people into the field of data analytics. But is it actually the best option? It's really a personal preference. I do like it a lot but there are some people that just don't like it and I understand why as well. It's not the most practical course and it's six months at 10 hours a week so it's pretty long even if it is for beginners. If you do look at the courses there are eight different different ones and many of these don't use Python or something and focus on a specific tool. It's more doing a lot of things in Excel or just listening to presentations and understanding the theory. And for being so unpractical, it does get a lot of hate. But I would say that if you go in it with the right mindset, it can be a very useful course. It helps you get into thinking like a data analyst and it takes it very slowly. Sure, it's not going to prepare you for jobs right away, nor are you going to know exactly how to do everything. But if you do start with this one and then you apply your skills in a more practical course, you'll have a really solid understanding both of the theory and the actual practical aspect as well. When it comes to these specific skills, it's also teaching you R and not Python, and that can be a downside depending on your preference, but you also get to try R and it's pretty cool as well. I've shown you many great courses, but the most important thing is just to get started. And if you're confused, just pick one and give it a try, and I'll leave a link in the description where you can try them out for free. Thanks for watching and good luck on your journey.